Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is the window gable box that I was uh, telling you guys about in my Paw Patrol window gable box video. I'm actually going to be doing this at larger scale than what Cricut will allow. So I'm going to take you guys through that really quickly and then we will go ahead and get this printed and assembled. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to start a new project in Photoshop. First thing that you're going to do is go here to File, New, and then it will uh, a new document will pop up so I want this to be standard size uh, 11 by 8.5 I am gonna have this as landscape orientation and then I want to set this to whatever I want to name it and I will go to create so now what I'm going to do is use my rectangle tool and do a full rectangle then I'm going to go here and get my window gable box inserted. I'm going to make this 10.5 by 8 inches. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to blending options and I will do a pattern overlay. So I want this to be uh, at 200 scale. You can also adjust this and make these smaller or larger, whatever you desire for your box. I want mine to be at a 200. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And then I will go here to my rectangle and I am gonna make that into a pattern as well. So I'll do blending options, I'll go to pattern overlay, and I'm just gonna make this appear like a seamless pattern. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and hide my rectangle and hide my background. And here I have my Dable box. So I will go ahead and just get this design. I have my LOL doll logo. And I'm also going to add an LOL doll. I'm just going to do 7th birthday. Now what I'm going to do is go to blending options again. And I'm going to go to stroke. And that is pretty much all that I'm going to do for, for this. So I have um, here these different colors. Um, but let's say I click here. If I wanted it white, then it would show me what it would look like white. Um, or just like I picked that green from the eyes, I can click there and I have my stroke. I can click pink, you know, whatever I wanted pretty much, I can do so from the color picker. Pretty much all I'm going to do for my box, I will go ahead and just add back in my rectangle and then I'm going to print two copies. Say you wanted to use this box, you designed it in Photoshop and you wanted to drag it to Cricut. Um, because Photoshop does have different design elements um, that Cricut may not have. And Cricut has, you know, things Photoshop doesn't have. So they're always good to have two to work from. All you have to do is go here to File. You go to Export, Quick Export as PNG and your file name will come up here and you save. You can then go here to Cricut, you can go to Browse, and then you see your Gable box right here. And you could just add it that way. And you can work from there with it. It'll basically look like this. So this is how you're gonna want your box to look before you go to cut. It will be just like a regular cut, no print, no nothing. Um, and then you're going to make sure that it's set at 10.5 by eight. 
and um, basically you see this is the same one that I used for the Paw Patrol video so all I'm doing is cutting this I have my score lines here and set in place I am going to detach and just make sure that everything is the way I want Okay, so now I'm going to hide my box. I'm going to attach this together and then I will add my box back and then I will attach those together. I'm going to go to make it. I am going to just make sure that everything is set the way I want. I'm going to cut two copies. I'm going to cut this on 110 pound cardstock. So I'm just using a craft board setting. I have my scoring wheel. This is going to be a single scoring wheel. So I'm going to choose this one right here and go to continue. Typically what I would use is this to tape outside this area, but it ran out of tape. So I just put a little bit of my score tape there to keep it in place. But if you have any questions about that, I will link my other video um, where you'll see exactly that process. So if I was mailing this to someone um, that placed an order on Etsy or something like that, you can mail it like this and then you just have them peel off this area right here. So here is the end result of the larger gable boxes. I am going to be testing this out with other things to see how it works out, but I just wanted to show you, since this is done in 110 pound cardstock, it is much sturdier. Whereas, you know, this is the 65 pound cardstock and you know, it is more flexible and bendable. You're gonna get something a bit more sturdy with using the 110 pound cardstock. This comes from Michaels. You get it in a pack like this. It's 100 pieces for $16, and you can also use the 60 and 50% off coupons. So I normally get it for around $7 to $8, but uh, really good quality. I buy it in the black card stock as well. Um, outside of that, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.